Hey, Algebra 1 kids, hope you had a great Memorial Day weekend. Um, we're going to start off easy today, Tuesday. And what we're going to take a look at is our um, quadratic equation. Everything we've been doing has been just this AX squared plus BX plus C. But now we want to look at it when it's equal to zero. So our goal for today is to learn how to make sure that our equations look like this, that we have our quadratic term, our linear term, the BX, and then our constant, a C. Quadratic expressions must be isolated or alone on one side of the equation. One side must only contain the zero. So you can take a look at what that means is if we had an example like this, it's already saying it's in standard form, but let's just take a look. I have x squared plus 5x minus 14 equals zero. This is our goal. And then we want from there to eventually be able to identify our a. Because there was no number in front of x squared, we just have a one. The b is going to be five and the c will be negative 14. So some of the problems you might see in delta math are going to look like this. And what they're going to ask you to do is to rewrite this into standard form. So I'm going to write a little note to us again. Here's our the things that we need. But if you want to write on your paper to start off, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. Notice that, and if you want, you can do the like imaginary dotted line. We did that at the beginning of the year. Sometimes that's helpful to us. On the left side, we have 5x and negative 20. So we have bx and c, but we don't have a. Notice this term right here is going to have to move over. So what I'm going to do now is since I want this to become zero, to be let 3x squared become zero, I'm going to do the opposite. Since this is positive, I'm going to subtract from this side to this side. And then I'll rewrite. So I have negative 3x squared. And then I'm going to bring down everything else. Since 5 is positive, I'm going to write plus 5x. We'll use green for C plus, sorry, minus. Minus 20. And then we want to keep our equal sign. That's going to be really important when we type this in. Equals zero. So the A value. A is negative three. Delta math won't ask you to identify these, but it's going to be helpful for us the next thing we do. B is positive five. And then our C value is negative 20. Again, it's really important that we have x squared, x, no x, then equal to zero. So let's try another example. So again, if you, if you find it helpful to put like a dividing imaginary line through the equation, so jot down the equation they give you on delta math and then take a look. Notice again, we want ax squared plus bx plus c. And as we saw in the other problems, the a, b, and c can be negative. So the plus signs are just like, you know, your placeholder if they're positive. So I'm not going to say this is standard form because it's not equal to zero. I need it equal to zero. So in order to do that, again, I'm going to subtract because it's positive, 2x squared. I'm not going to subtract it from 20 because that's not a like term. Or 1x, I have to subtract it to 5x squared because I want like terms. So x squared and x squared go together. These cancel. When they cancel, they become equal to zero. 
So 5x squared minus 20x squared is 3x squared. Then everything else comes down. And if you want to write plus 1x plus 20, that's fine. And then identifying our a is 3. The b value in standard form, bx, is going to be 1. And c is 20. I have one more example, and then hopefully that will be enough to help explain everything that you need to do for our next assignment. So if we take a look here, we have negative 2x squared plus 4x equals 14. Again, our goal is to equal 0. It's our hero. We always want this to equal 0. So since this is positive 14, I'm going to subtract 14 from both sides. And if you look, these are like terms. 14 minus 14 is 0. So I'll get equals 0. But then I can't subtract 14 from 2x squared. They're not like terms. Or from 4x. So what's actually going to happen is I'm going to write 2x squared plus 4x and then minus 14. So I can go ahead and identify that the a, no like terms here, so there's nothing to combine. a is negative 2, b is 4. And our C value is negative 14. Again, in delta math, what it's going to look like. So here's an example of what you're going to see. If you need it, I know it kind of moved kind of quickly. But this is what your final answer is going to be when you type that in. So here's an example in delta math. Notice that. If I were to kind of divide this right now, I want to move over this negative 2. So the opposite of negative 2 is positive 2, positive 2. I'm going to write over here. So I get negative 3x squared. I'm just copying exactly what I see, minus 3x. Negative 9 plus 2 is negative 7. Be careful with your signs. Now I have it in standard form, and I want to write it exactly how I see it. So in my toolbox. So if you struggled with your squares, make sure you click this button right here. All of your toolbars show up. And what you can do is then do negative 3x. And we can go squared minus 3x minus 7 equals 0. I'm just using my keyboard and hit submit. And I'm going to hit yes. I'm going to erase all of this over here. And notice that what's great about Delta Math is it shows you if I did this right or not. I'll show you these steps. I hope you found this video helpful. If you need anything, please reach out to me, Ms. Vesta, Ms. Vargas, or Ms. Harity. We're happy to help. Thanks. Have a good one.